It is such a pleasure to be here with you today and to speak to you about something close to me personally, that is about machines. Welcome to Episode 7 of the Guest, Ghost, Host, Machine podcast from Serpentine Galleries. In this series, artists of all disciplines look to the near future to explore artificial intelligence, transhumanism, and nonlinear time. No one person or discipline holds the key to the future, but all of our contributors are knocking on the door. I'm Legacy Russell, and I'm here today with artist Victoria Sin. I'm really excited about today's piece. It's made by a good friend and frequent collaborator, Evan Ifakoya, and the amazing musician and artist, Hannah Catherine Jones. In this piece, Evan and Hannah draw on the writing and teachings of Reverend Angel Kyoto Williams Sensei and her book, Radical Dharma. So this fits in with the theme of the marathon um, very neatly. And it also ties in with our last podcast, where Kenrick McDowell and Jason Louv talk about the importance of Buddhism. Here we have um, Buddhism and kind of a practice of spirituality used to, you know, basically kind of honor a, a practice of, of self-mythologizing. And, and this is like a radical spiritual act. And this is something I think that Evan does in their practice a lot is kind of this use of creating narratives and and also involving um, elements of sound and music to create these environments where an experience that's not represented is and and, and is often marginalized is is centered. And I think self-mythologizing, again, is this practice of self-care is something that's completely necessary because, you know, we have to be the ones to script and write and also represents our own narratives, which I think is something that Evan does in, in their work and is something that also um, Evan and I do together in our collaborative practice. This is Evan Ifakoya and Hannah Catherine Jones with Healing Exercises for Limitless Potential, H-E-L-P. Buddhism has, for a millennia, allowed us the space to analyse the complex system of thought known as the self. Purity is a myth. Kaleidoscope is derived from the ancient Attend Greek to the kalos, shape of meaning your body, outside of its physicality. Eidos, meaning time for that which is seen and for silence, shape. And scope, meaning to look to, to examine. Hence, observation of beautiful forms. Little bits of ritual that you might embed into your daily life. I'm working to end racism and oppression. But at the same time, I want to be liberated. I want to thrive. I want to be happy. How can we bring that ethic of healing, acknowledge any anger, pain and suffering into our households, into our relationships, into our organisations? Oh, sister. Oh, sister. Oh, sister. What is the inner work that I must do? Oh, oh sister. sister. And for my community. Oh, oh, what healing sis- oh, still needs to be done. Sister. Oh, sister. Oh, sister. Oh, sister. Oh, sister. It's like rage founded on blatant denial. Squeeze economics. Subsistence survival, deafening silence, and social control. Black rage is found in all wounds in the soul. No one takes up a spiritual practice for the right reason, because there isn't one. 
Whether you are the reincarnation of a saint, born time and time again to relieve others' suffering, or a sister or brother trying to hold your own family together, your reason for pursuing a practice is equally valid, equally honorable. Any and every reason for arriving on your spiritual path is the best reason you could possibly have. In my healing, I'm also mourning. Mourning and despair are very private matters. When we begin to confront our own trauma, we give permission for others to do Take the a same. moment to be with the sensations Scan from of the your body. Tips of your feet to your calves, thighs, groin. Keep your Stomach. eyes slightly open rather than Chest. completely closed. Shoulders, arms, hands, tips of your fingers, head, jaw, forehead, top of your head. Acknowledge any anger, Notice pain and any suffering tightness you may feel or tension. She was a fearless warrior, living in a city, not a monistic alone on a mountain. Her senses were poised for action, fully present, alive, relaxed, embodied, alert. Thus, her eyes remained slightly open and cast down at a 45 degree angle with the ground. Gazing Acknowledge gently any anger, ahead pain to maintain and suffering detached connection you may feel with the world and an attitude of readiness to join it whenever the need arose. In the practice, we move in response to bells rather than bullets. It is not enough to know we want freedom. We have to practice the Lotus Sutra. Nam so we sit is a vow we chant, an expression of determination. Invoke it enables us state of to draw on our limitless inner resources and compassion. Nam came to me when I needed it. As I inhaled, I conjured the name of a woman or non-binary person of colour who I love and revere. As I exhaled, I conjured the name of a woman or non-binary person of colour who I revere and love. I repeated the exercise until my head was filled with these incredible beings and there was no room for anything else. 
this meditation exists for whenever you need it. Angela Davis. Teju Adelaide. Audre Lord. Aditi Jagannathan. Grace Jones. Gail Lewis. Umi Lovecraft Baden Powell. Evan Ifekoya. Ayn Bailey. Billy Holiday. Zakia Sewell. Heidi Merza. Shuk Liton. Kemoy Jamat. Bell Hooks. Jen Nkiru. Nina Simone. Rosalind Jones. June Tyson. Anna Josephine Budge. Beyonce. And Valentina Jones. Erica Badu. Phyllis Wheatley. Tony Morrison. Kachenga. Aditi. Henrietta Lacks. May Jameson. Solange. Seble. Umi Lovecraft. Sora Neil Hurston. Martine Sims. Nadine Davis. Laverne Cox. Rachel Ag. Brandy Butler. Angela Davis. Rihanna. Matty Lois, Teju Adelaide, Jesse Norman, Desperate Hayward, Sarah Vaughan, Aditi Jagannath, Alia Pathan, Eartha Grace Jones, Shannon Simpson Pike, Gail Lewis, Rosa Parks, Marcella, Umi Lovecraft, Baden Powell, Miriam McCabe, Evan Ifekoya, Simone Lee, Aim Bailey, Monica Blades Chase, Billy Holiday, Chi Chi Nwanoku, Zakia Sewell, Marsha Smith, Heidi Mer, Zawi, Charlie Clayton, Kande Kemoy Jamot, Jotty Meta, Bell Hooks, Imani Robinson, Jen Nicole McKenzie. Jelena Simone, Kame Ayewa, Rosalind Jones, Rashida Phillips, June Tyson, Rashida Bumbrey, Amma Josephine Budge, Una Marzen, Beyonce Anu Enriquez, Valentina Jones, Alice Coltrane, Erica Virginia Wilson, Phyllis Princess Nokia. Tony Morris, Hannah Black, Kachenga, Missy Elliott, Henrietta Jamila Lacks, Johnson Small, May Jameson, Nabaya Garcia, Solange, Aisha Meza, Seble, Yo Yo Yawande, Osora Neil Hurston, Cherie Burr, Martin Sims, Nate Davis. Laverne Rosanna Bradley, Brandy Butler, Sarah Jane Lewis, Rihanna, Maya Matty Lawrence, Jesse Norman, Destiny Hayley Nelson, Sarah Vaughan, Ella Fitzgerald, Arya Mother Earth.
really powerful ending. Coming back to this idea of self-mythologizing, I love this moment where Hannah is saying the names of different artists and theorists, really um, kind of canonical individuals such as Angela Davis, but then mixing this in with artists that are working um, in London that, that we know and that, that we're friends with right now. You know, it's... it's Zadie being one of them. Yeah, Zadie, um, Alia Pathan. It's really powerful to write your own history. And also, while you're writing it, embed yourself within these larger narratives. It is, again, this process of self-care. It's saying, you know, I'm also here and I'm also important. Um, you know, I belong in this narrative. And I think in a moment where, like, we're literally living in, like, a weird kind of apocalyptic mm. hellscape in terms of politics, that, yeah. like, a lot of things feel quite dystopic and there's a lot of, you know, what the questions about what truth really is. Mm. So it makes it even more relevant for us to be taking control of writing our own histories and yeah. being really clear about those narratives. Um, because, of course, we can't always trust other people to do that for us. Mm. Yeah, removing that ambiguity and writing the narratives yourselves and, and creating um, these models of truth that are just as true, if not more true, and definitely more relevant, you know, to a better future than narratives that surround us. Absolutely, and hopefully maybe one that's a bit more optimistic, one that provides more room for survival. Definitely, and Evan and I are actually working on something um, right now which touches on many of these themes of decentering narratives and self-mythologizing which will have its first manifestation this summer. Keep your eyes peeled for that. All of the material in this series was originally recorded at or produced for the Serpentine's Guest, Ghost, Host, Machine Marathon in October 2017. This podcast is brought to you by Serpentine Radio, radio radio.serpentinegalleries.org. You can subscribe on Apple Podcasts. Our music is by marathon performer Fatima Al Qadiri, aka I Shy. Impossible archaeology. Guest ghost host.